Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our devotion for today, Friday, May the 7th, comes to us once again from the Gospel of John. We're looking at John chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. Love is not a feeling. Love is a commitment response. That is the way that Jesus lived his life. It's the way that Jesus loved when he was here on earth. He responded with commitment. He acted. He voluntarily submitted to the Father's will that he lay down his life for the world God so loved. He trusted that the Father's love would not fail. Jesus responded to that love. He was committed to it. And Jesus commands us to do the same, to respond in committed love, enabled by abiding in the circle of God's poured out, self-giving, life-giving love. As a pastor, I have seen over the years that kind of love often. Because when a mom, dad, and husband of a young woman, for example, dying of cancer, each taking eight-hour shifts to keep a 24-7 vigil with her in hospital. Sometimes love is not pretty, but it is always a beautiful response. Let us pray. God of love, without your love, I can't obey your command. I can't commit to it. May my broken and feeble will to love be cracked open and filled with your perfect love. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Bye for now.